Send the squad quick. Okay, what attacked you? A zebra. I got attacked by a zebra. You got yeah, attacked by a, a what? Yes, a horse. Did he bite your arm? Did he? Oh hell yes. Okay, is it still attached? Down before it gets me again. Okay, okay. Zebras are one of the most iconic and recognizable species of African megafauna, and their portrayals in cartoons, their close resemblance to our domesticated horses, and their frequent inclusion in zoos can give them a misleading persona as peaceful herbivores. Zebras are also, to the surprise of many, sometimes kept as pets. When it comes to domesticated forms of exotic ungulates, they vary in their tolerance to humans. It's generally understood that they are pretty skittish. Compared to mainstream farm animals like cattle. However, zebras are apparently far more aggressive than people realize. This is why attacks by zebras make headlines. You may have heard of the reports of a man who was attacked by his pet zebra in 2023. Initially, it was reported that the zebra actually ripped his hand off, but later this was changed to him nearly losing his hand. The 911 call of the incident was released to the public, and also the video of the incident, where after authorities arrived to assist the man, the aggressive zebra made continuous attempts to attack the people on the scene, eventually forcing an officer to shoot and kill it. Many comments expressed anger over this. Initially, I figured the zebra was a hand-raised pet. Sadly, hormones are one of the biggest drawbacks with many species, and paradoxically, when they are raised by humans and bond with them through imprinting, they sometimes grow up to be more dangerous, challenging humans over breeding rights. However, I was surprised to learn that these somewhat close relatives of horses are actually assholes, not just to humans, but to other animals, and even other zebras. There's actually some pretty disturbing footage of them trying to kill baby antelopes, and the reasons given for this seem to vary from them confusing the animals as dangerous predators, or seeing them as competitors. However, when males attack zebra foals, this infanticide is likely due to a newly dominant male that is claiming a harem of females and wanting to eliminate the young of other males so it can breed and father its own babies. These attacks are quite vicious and cruel, and male zebras will even forcibly mate with pregnant females to induce them to miscarry. As for the females, I've read anecdotes that they are certainly less aggressive, although some female groups have still caused problems in mixed species exhibits in zoos, forcing their removal. Some keepers claim that certain zebra species are worse than others, such as grevy zebras being worse than plain zebras. However, there seems to be exceptions to every generalization. There have also been other zebra attacks reported by media outlets, about four that I can find so far, one in 2013, 2015, 2019, and 2022 respectively, so I suspect that there are plenty more. They range from mild to severe, but as expected, there were no fatalities that I could find that have occurred since the 1990s. I think a big part of what makes zebras dangerous is the fact that they don't seem dangerous, and people get close to them more easily as a result. One incident that received much coverage occurred at the AZA-accredited Smithsonian's National Zoo in 2013, where a keeper was severely bitten by an eight-year-old male multiple times after he entered an area that the animal was able to access. This was due to certain gates being left open, and sadly, a Dama gazelle got spooked when this happened and died from its injuries from crashing into a barrier. Many zookeepers actually consider zebras to be one of the more dangerous animals they care for. This is, of course, after large carnivores and animals like chimps, likely because, again, people let their guard down around herbivores, even relatively large ones. Therefore, when they attack, it's a much bigger surprise. In 2019, a woman was attacked while taking a selfie with a privately owned zebra. This zebra was located at Brookhaven Animal Farm, and that particular animal was responsible for several other injuries. In 2015, an Arkansas judge was attacked by his father's pet zebra, and in 2022, a man was chased by a zebra while riding his bicycle. So yes, when compared to horses, zebras seem to make terrible captives. But 
but that's merely a matter of comparison. When one species sets the bar so high, it makes others seem like they shouldn't be in captivity or considered to be domesticated. We forget things like the fact that bulls and even some horse stallions are considered dangerous, despite being domesticated for thousands of years. It seems like zebras have a naturally aggressive temperament and should be treated like bulls, but of course, there are many tamer zebras, especially when it comes to mares. Some zebras have even been successfully ridden like horses. As someone who was on the scene at the Ohio farm said, it's only the one that's aggressive, the rest of them are not. So just like horses, aggression and docility can be on an individual basis, and perhaps it can be selected for with breeding. The takeaway message from this is that all animals can bite, and all large animals can present some level of danger. People just need to be more aware of the species' natural traits before they acquire these animals, and they should be perfectly legal to acquire.